Well, Tom, pleased to be back in the starting lineup, I'm sure, but not so happy with the way the game's gone in the end. No, it was a tough game. Um, we, uh, I thought we started the game well, and then in the second half we didn't. They got on top of us second half, and um, I think first of all you've got to look, you've got to look at home, and I think myself, I've got to score a header, and then I've lost my man for the first goal. So it's one of them. I take it on the chin. I take responsibility for today, and hopefully the lads can come back and get a win on Monday. Yeah, they're just saying to Nigel there, you know, two goals since in five minutes. I mean, that's not what you want, is it? You know, one nil, you can get yourself back in the game, but two nil makes it so so difficult. Yeah, as I said, I felt they they got on top and we conceded at poor times. But um, goals change games. If I score, then we're sort of one nil after ten minutes of the second half, and you've got something to hold on to. So, as I say, um, it's a tough for the lads, and yeah, hold my hands up, and hopefully we can put it right as we as in the next game. I mean, we're stood next to the pitch here. I mean, it's not in great condition. I know it's the same for both sides, but second half, you seem to have a bit more difficulty, perhaps, in getting the ball back to front. Yeah, I think. Um, I think it was it, they put they put the sprinklers on before the game, and it was a bit slicker in the first half, and then started to dry up with the wind, and um, they adapted better than we did. Um, they're probably more used to it than we are. So it was a tough game. Um, no one likes to lose, and we're all hurting in there. So we need to pick ourselves up and go again. Yeah, I know you're hoping to try and get your know, top half of the table at the very least this season from where you you were in November, but you know that's a setback. And Colchester on Monday, I mean, I mean they're fighting for their lives. You know what that's all about, don't you? Yeah, th- there's no easy games, and um, since the gaffers come in, we've we've been good, and um, we're just tr- trying to put a string of wins together, and we can't seem to do that at the minute. So yeah, it's um, another tough game. There's no easy games in the league. It sounds cliche, but there's not. So as you say, Colchester are fighting for their lives, and it, it'll be tough. But we. Um, we need to get back to Prenton and, and show the fans what we're made of. Yeah, I mean, I mean, having been in that really difficult situation in November and got yourself to where now, concentration levels, I mean, is there a little bit of a you know, deep breath? We, we've, we've sort of done enough now, or are the lads all still burning and looking for every victory? No, and I, I think um, saw the appreciation from the fans today. They can see we're still working. We're still trying hard. We, um, we left everything out there today. I can assure them of that. Um, but on the day, we just weren't good enough. So we'll keep going. We've got five games to go. Um, We'll try and get as many points as we can and, and make sure that we're in good stead going into next year. And fitness-wise, you've been out for a few games. I mean, and how are you? I mean, you've got through the game today. I'm sure you're pleased about that. But injury-wise, how's things for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine now. I've, I've not trained much. It was a, it was a tough 90 minutes, I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, happy to be back out there. Um, and, yeah, hopefully touch wood injury-free from now on. Yeah, I mean, what I said was the problem this time around. I know, you, I know you've had a few back problems in the past, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, it was back. It would be back uh, after the Sutton game could hardly walk so um, yeah fair, fair play to everyone at the club helped me out and got me sorted a bit, bit longer than I'd have liked but uh, yeah back out there now and looking forward and just a word on Joe Yarny I mean you know he's been patient you know, uh, you know Jordan's not there today so you're playing with him you were out the side and, and he played with Jordan as well you know, a word about Joe and his progress yeah very good play you know it's um, everyone wants to play football and uh, as you say Joe has been had, had to um, bide his time but he's come in and done well um, so you've got competition for places there which is good um, and yeah, it's just up to whoever plays to, to make sure they stay in the team and, and then up to the gaffer to pick who he wants. So, um, yeah, a good player. And um, yeah, hopefully whoever whoever goes in there can put in a performance. And you've mentioned that consistency and, and that's the key, isn't it? I mean, I suppose you know, lead to look at everything we've beaten the top three sides in the division you know, quite recently. But it's that consistency, you know, is there a magic one that sort of you find what the answer to that is? Ah, I wish there was, <laughs> because then we'd wave it and see what happens. But um, no, it's, it's sort of been... Um, We've sort of always performed well against the bigger teams. I don't know if it's like a, a psychological thing or something, but we, we seem to do well against the bigger sides. It's, but this is the place you come to, and maybe last week, they're the, they're the games that win your leagues and get you promoted. So, um, yeah, as I said, we're building towards something. The gaffer keeps saying we, um, we need to make sure we come to places like this and win um, moving forward. So, um, yeah, we, um, it's, a, it's a step back today, as you said, but we're, we're building forward to next season and, and hopefully we can go into that with a bit of momentum. Yeah, and that's what you've proven, isn't it? You know, since November, you know, your, your record says you know, you're sort of pushing you know, top seven sides in the division. So it is there inside you, you know, if, if you can just sort of get it right on a more consistent basis. Yeah, that's the key, uh, consistency. Uh, that's, what, that's what the gaffer tries to drum into us every day. And I think you're right. I think if, we can, if we've shown we can do it, we just need to do it for longer periods. And... Um, and yeah, we need to, as I say, come to places like this and pick up points. Um, but it didn't happen today. But as I say, there's, there's, there's signs there that we're moving in the right direction and hopefully we can keep that going next year. I know you've enjoyed being captain, you know, leader on the pitch. Uh, Nigel sort of gave you real authority and, and sort of boosted your confidence in terms of your captaincy as well. 
Yeah, he, he talks to me a lot. We we um, we sort of we sort of built a relationship when he came in, and we do talk through a lot of things. And luckily for me, I've got good players out there and good leaders out there um, who help us, who help the team as well. Um, so there's, it's not just down to me. There's a lot of us out there, and um, hopefully, uh, thankfully, sorry, a lot of them are here next season as well. So it bodes well. Um, it's a tough one, tough pill to swallow today, but um, yeah, if we can keep moving in the right direction, then there could be something there for us next year. Just a couple of days rest, and you'd be fine for Monday yourself. We'll see how we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. But yeah, recover right, and yeah, see where we're at Monday.